Hey guys, welcome back to Slurve. I am Steve. It is Monday, June 20th, and these are your Cash Game Cornerstones. Hope you had a good uh, Father's Day weekend. It's been uh, kind of an interesting time in, uh, in DFS lately. Um, not the best run for me, partially because I need to take my own advice more. <laughs> and uh, starting with that, also we just had some weird weird games. I mean, Kendris Morales had 34 DK points on like Friday, I want to say, and that just, I mean, I actually had Kendris, but I still didn't want to see that. That's just not right. Um, but anyway, for our picks for today, uh, starting off at catcher, we got a pretty interesting one, and that is the new prospect Wilson Contreras is expected to make his first start for the Cubs uh, against Jaime Garcia, who has just been kind of disintegrating Lately, um, our, our cards homer team thinks that, that he is probably injured and is going to end on, up on the DL before too long. Um, bottom line, though, it's a day where we got Clayton Kershaw pitching and he's like over 14K. Um, I personally am going to be trying really hard to get him into my cash lineup. Um, you know, Adam will talk about the pitching more in depth, but. I just, there's there's never a slate that Kershaw is on that I don't want him in my cash lineup. So with that being said, we got a great deal on Contreras at 2K on DK. Um, very, very friendly price there. 2.2 on FanDuel, yeah, you know, but still good. Really, I wouldn't look too much further than him at catcher. Um, but I also do like Jan Gomez against Smiley. Yeah, Gomes, I don't, I want to call him Gomez. It feels, anyway, Jan Gomes. Uh, 2.6 on DK and 2.6 on FanDuel. You know, if you find yourself with extra cash or you just don't feel comfortable going with a uh, brand new prospect in your cash lineup, then I do not mind him at all in that spot. But uh, I'm not going past Contreras in cash. And part of that is because um, we got a bunch of bats that we want to get in our lineups in addition to this. I mean, David Ortiz has just been a man on fire this season. Uh, he gets Miguel Gonzalez, who, you know, is not actually, it's not bad, actually, but uh, in in Boston against this crazy hot Red Sox team, I think he's definitely an exploitable pitcher for them, uh, and it just doesn't matter for Ortiz, but he's priced like that at 5.5 on DK and 4.4 on FanDuel. FanDuel is a little bit more, more uh, affordable there, but I also really like Jose Abreu uh, against... Uh, I wrote that wrong. He's not against Derek Holland. He's against Stephen Wright. Um, well, anyway, I don't know where I got Holland from there. <laughs> but, but against Stephen Wright, which is good because Abreu hits the knuckleball well. Now, I'm working on a very limited sample size. He's only had 14 at-bats versus knuckleballers in his career. Uh, but he has hit them extremely well in that time. He's 4K on DK and 3.6 on FanDuel. So on DK, a nice, healthy, healthy discount. Still a discount on FanDuel. And we may really need that, but, you know, if you somehow find yourself with more cash or you're crazier than I am at pitcher and are paying down there, then Ortiz has uh, got to be the top option. Second base is ugly, ugly, ugly today. <laughs> uh, but it does give us a chance for some slightly cheaper uh, Red Sox exposure. And that's through Dustin Pedroia, who's been on kind of a cold little run here. But, um, you know, I, I wouldn't let that worry me particularly. Uh, he's 4.3 on DK and 3.6 on FanDuel, so just a really nice price for getting a part of this Red Sox lineup. Uh, their total last I looked was 6, which for a game outside of Coors is um, pretty pretty impressive. But just the Red Sox total, not the over-under. <laughs> um, uh, so you definitely want to get parts of that where you can, and it was on the rise. Um, then we also got uh, Profar, Jurickson Profar, who I've, I've mentioned a number of times. has been doing great since he got called up. Um, against Kevin Gaussman, who I think is a lot better than the numbers uh, really show. And um, he's really, Gaussman is really too cheap on DK. So I kind of anticipate him potentially being a second starting pitcher, maybe even in cash. I don't know. You can hear, you can, you can see the hesitation. But if you're not, then uh, 4.2 on DK, eh, I think I go Pedroia. Uh, 2.9 on FanDuel, though, makes for a really attractive option there. And on, on uh, DK, Profar is also third base eligible, so keep that in mind. Speaking of third base, I uh, bring up a guy I haven't brought up today yet, and that's Mike Pelfrey. Uh, we all love targeting Mike Pelfrey, which probably means these guys are going to have high ownership. Uh, but Kyle Seeger is 4.8. And on DK, it's really expensive. I don't know about 
my ability to fit him in my lineups. He's 3.5 on FanDuel, though. That's a price I can definitely get behind. Um, and then on uh, on DK, Javier Baez is third base and shortstop. Uh, and he's only 3.8. I really like him as, as a third base play. I uh, don't hate him as a, as a shortstop play either. I just don't have too many things I like at third base for DK. The only other one that really comes to mind is some more cheapish Red Sox exposure, and that's Travis Shaw, uh, 3.8 on DK as well, and 3.1 on FanDuel. So I can definitely see going with, with him on DK and maybe using Baez at shortstop or bring Profar down to third base. Uh, a lot more flexibility in our rosters on DK. So I'm going to start off shortstop with just, I mean, if you've watched these videos at all, you know how I feel about FanDuel pricing. It frustrates the hell out of me because they just do a bad job of it. It's just plain and simple, a bad job of it. FanDuel, get your shit together. Anyway, Trevor Story, you might be familiar with him. He's been pretty damn good. Uh, is 2.8 on FanDuel. On DK, he's 4.7 for comparison. Uh, that might be a little overpriced on DK, maybe not even though, but on FanDuel, that's just ridiculous. He's facing Paul Clemens, who is a guy that hasn't pitched much in the majors and in the minors has not been very good. Um, I just, I can't get over how egregious that price is, honestly. But on DK, we got to work a little bit harder. Um, I like Adeni Echevarria, especially if he gets back in the top spot here against Jorge De La Rosa, who's been kind of, you know, better than he had been near the beginning of the season, but I'm still not uh, too worried about that at 3.7 on DK and 2.4 on FanDuel if you absolutely must, but I'd just go with uh, Story. And Brad Miller uh, gets uh, Josh Tomlin, who's been a lot better than... Uh, I would have ever expected this season. Um, 4.2 on DK, 3.3 on FanDuel. And uh, then I mentioned Baez earlier. He's also 2.9 on FanDuel. You can play him at shortstop there. But again, I just... <sighs> See, that's what... There's all these nice plays that would be in play if Story were re reasonably priced, but he's not. So we got pretty much got to lock that in. Uh, but if you didn't put Baez in at third base on DK, then he's a perfectly viable option there at 3.8. All right, so I'm going to start this section off with uh, the the plays from FanDuel, whose prices really frustrate me. <laughs> and that's uh, that's some couple of Red Sox. we got Mookie and uh, Jackie Bradley Jr., Miguel Gonzalez, not a horribly threatening matchup. On DK, Mookie is 5.3. On FanDuel, he's 4.2. Much, much more attractive. On uh, DK, Jackie Bradley Jr. is 4.8. On FanDuel, he's 3.5. I think that's just a fantastic price for him. Uh, but back to reasonable pricing on DK. <laughs> we got Seth Smith going up against the aforementioned Mike Pelfrey. I think that's a, a great play there. He's only 3.9 on DK. It's a little underpriced, in my opinion, for the matchup. 3.6 on FanDuel, far less attractive. Um, Joey Rickard is another guy that we often turn to for savings in our cash games. He gets Derek Holland, another guy plenty worthy of being exploited. 3.7 on DK, 2.8 on FanDuel. Uh, we got a couple of uh, of Texas guys. Uh, if you're not playing uh, Gaussman, Mazzara, and Chu at uh, Mazzara is 3.3 on DK and 2.8 on FanDuel. Chu is 3.7 on DK and 3.0 on FanDuel. All in play on both sites there. A great, great bargain going up against Nate Carnes, who might actually be one of the better non Kershaw, Mad Bum, Strasburg pitchers on the slate. Um, but Steven Moya is only 2.4 on DK. It's 2.3 on FanDuel. I don't think we really need it there, but we're going to need savings on DK, and I think that's uh, going to be one of the best ways to get it. Um, I also like Cole Calhoun going up against Doug Fister. 3.9 on DK, 3.5 on FanDuel. And then uh, your BVP special of the day today is Mark Trumbo. Um, you know, I mean, I like the Orioles in general against Holland, and I like uh, Trumbo's upside and, and double home run potential anyway, and the matchup anyway, but in his history, he's 14 of 45 with five home runs and three doubles. Uh, so Trumbo's had a pretty good history against him. I do not hate getting him in your lineup anywhere, although he's pretty expensive, at least on DK. Well, he's pretty expensive on both sides. 4.5 on DK, 3.6 on FanDuel. Definitely a pricey guy, but uh, one of the highest upside guys, uh, you know, just based on his home run potential. 
So that's it for my Cash Game Cornerstones for today. Make sure you come on by later. We will have uh, the rundown, slurve.com. It's free to sign up. You can come by the tailgate, hang out, and chat with us and help us figure out our lineups. No, I mean, we'll help you figure out your lineups. That's what it is. Um, and uh, then later on, we have the rundown, which will break down all of our uh, three experts' advice. And uh, also, I will have some daily dong finder picks. And then at 5 today, we got an expert chat, 5 Eastern time, uh, where Max, Adam, and I will be on live with Eric, answering your questions, going through the slate, giving our best plays, and giving some more dong finder picks for the best home run chances. Uh, once again, this is Slurve. I am Steve. Good luck tonight, guys.